It's hard to believe, but some of today's biggest celebs were once mere TV guest stars with barely any lines or airtime. Now, we'd be lying if we said we didn't love seeing their young faces glowing with dreams of fame and future stardom pop up on our TV screens as we rewatch old episodes of our favorite shows. And sure, there are tons of shows that have served as breeding ground for rising stars, but none quite as much as this one. Up, you might remember that flashback episode that showed Sandy and Kirsten meeting for the first time, but you might not care until now that the actor playing Sandy is actually New Girl's Max Greenfield. Yes, before he was cracking us up as Schmidt alongside Zoe Deschanel on New Girl. You see that cleavage? I just want to get my arms stuck down there, like 127 hour style. He had a whopping one episode arc as young Sandy Cohen on the OC. Watch my sleep. Well, if you don't want a pamphlet, here. Have a pin on me. Sometimes I get the feeling that I've always... Speaking of flashbacks, though, next on our list, we have Bella Thorne playing a young Taylor Townsend who sadly gives up her homework in exchange for an invite to Summer's birthday party. Do you know ethics whatsoever? Okay, you can come to my birthday party. Next up, there's Paul Wesley. Before he was a brooding vampire on The Vampire Diaries, Paul got in touch with his inner bad boy as Ryan's co-worker Donnie, who brought some major drums to Newport. Should have figured this chump was a friend of yours. Why don't you just take him back to the trailer park? We should go. What'd you say to me? All right, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. I think we can all agree we like Paul better as Stefan. Another favorite cameo of ours is from Hollywood's newest it girl, Shailene Woodley. Now, Shailene only appeared on the show for a few episodes, and she played Marissa's younger sister before going off to boarding school for the next few seasons. Oh, Mom, check my nails? Oh, I love them, Caitlin. Do you like my hair this straight, or is it too Avril Lavigne? Apparently, she even auditioned again when Kaylin was supposed to make her triumphant return, but according to Shailene, she just didn't look old enough, so they went with Willa Holland. Moving on to Twilight's Jackson Rathbone, who had a quick arc as the ex-boyfriend of Caitlin Cooper, even though her character was gone for the majority of the show. Now, let's take a peek. Hi, uh, this is the Cohen house? Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for someone. I guess I had the wrong address. Uh, a Persian guy said I could find her here, Caitlin Cooper. You a friend of hers? I really need to get a hold of her. Is she here or not? Look, man, I haven't seen Caitlin since she was 11 and rode a pony. But Jackson was not the only Twilight alum that invaded Newport Beach. Two more of the film stars appeared on the hit show. Nikki rejoined the cast for six episodes as Ryan's love interest, Sadie. But before that, there was one of the hottest vampires ever. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go smoke some kush. Wanna come? You know, I actually kinda wanna enjoy prom, but uh, come find me when you get back then. Yes, everyone, that was Cam Gigande, and yes, he is way hotter without that gross hair. Anyway, he played Volchek, Marissa's super caring boyfriend that left her to die in an alleyway in Tijuana. Hashtag true love. Not. But not so fast, people. Did you spot the other familiar face in that scene? Yep, lurking in the background was CW star Anna Lynn McCord, who delivers this award-winning performance. Did I hear something about smoking certain substances? Because I know somebody's private. Hey, do I? Next up, what was Amber Heard doing before appearing in movies alongside Seth Rogen and Jesse Eisenberg playing a bitchy sales girl on The O.C., of course? Guys, if those poor women's lives weren't hard enough, someone should get a restraining order against that coat. Oh, we close early today, so don't take too long. Like somebody missed sensitivity training somehow. I mean, if anyone's gonna back talk to Amber Heard, it better be Seth Cohen. Now, we've got a few familiar faces that are now all on the same show. We are talking about Ashley Benson, Lucy Hale, and Janelle Parrish, who all had minor guest spots on the OC before taking over ABC Family on Pretty Little Liars. You can't do this to yourself every time you get the ratings. It's my dad, you know, the Valley. It's a show. <laughs> what do you expect when you beat the same love triangle on the ground for three years? Who are you? Oh, uh, Marissa. It's Caitlin's sister. 
Hey Bet, your sister's here. Then of course, we had the celebs that decided to make cameos, but ironically, they did not play themselves. Well, except Paris Hilton, who played a version of herself. I've been up all night working on my thesis, Magical Realism in American Literature. Are you familiar with the works of Thomas Pynchon? I've only read The Crying of Lot 49. Gravity's Rainbow is his masterpiece. Don't tell anyone I'm in grad school. Okay, I think these next fake characters are more realistic than that because we've got Steve-O playing a major party goer, weird, and Chris Brown who played a band geek. We're not sure who came up with that idea. There are also a few characters that had more significant parts than those we've already listed. Olivia Wilde had a 13 episode arc in which things in the show took a major left turn when the writers turned Marissa into a lesbian. Kind of random, but as always, made for great television. Here are a few of their most memorable moments. Let's get you out of these white clothes. This one's yours. I really didn't realize moving in with you meant giving up my life. I didn't ask you to give up your life. All I ever wanted was to be a part of it. Chris Pratt also had a recurring role on the show before blowing up on Parks and Rec. Now, during his time on the show, he played Berkeley hippie Che, who dated Summer and delivered us with a number of gems like... I have a gift for you. My song. Polar bears will die. And before we wrap things up, here's a few more familiar faces to leave you with. Colin Hanks, Morena Baccarin, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Jamie King, Eric Allen Kramer, Tiffany Thornton, Wilson Bethel, Matthew Barr, Justin Chan, Kat Graham. And that's my friends, concludes our 26 people that you forgot were on the OC. Did any of these names surprise you, or are you as diehard an OC fan as we are? Leave us a comment below with your favorite name on the list, and then click right over here to see us count down 33 celebrity doppelgangers that will absolutely blow your mind. I'm Miriam Issa. Find me on Twitter, and thank you so much for tuning in.